the, the pain point that we're hearing about um, in, in the media and beyond is you know the lack of diversity um, in innovation, the lack of diversity um, in tech, whether that's the technical workforce, software engineers, early programmers, um, those who understand big data, machine learning, et cetera, um, um, or technical co-founders to invest in. So um, just like we look at any startup we invested or we start a startup, we first identified the problem, and then we started working on a minimal viable product. And that minimal viable product is called Code Start, um, hashtag Code Start. And Code Start is actually a collaborative, um, to Peter's point, with the Atlanta Workforce Development Agency, um, the Iron Yard, um, and employer partners. So um, our, our thesis of Code Start is that we can invest $50,000 um, in a disconnected youth, 18 to 24 years old. They don't have a college degree, but we can teach them Java or some other in-demand language so that they will have um, the employability of an early stage engineer. So we're teaching them um, the coding uh, language, and not just the, the coding language, but also the computational thinking skills, the lifelong component to it. We're wrapping that with career readiness, financial literacy, uh, we're providing these students with housing, so we're taking them out of their environments and putting them in safe spaces, and we're giving them um, a living stipend as well. So the bet is, with a $50,000 investment, partially funded by workforce um, foundations and employers who say they're looking for the talent, I can create an early stage engineer that um, is generating an income at least $62,500 a year on average, um, which is a high growth job. And for every high growth job that's created, there are four to five um, indirect jobs that are created from, from that as well.